Welcome back to another episode of Off the Shelf. I am your host, Ren Tim HD, and this time when we found Off the Shelf was. dollars more this is a double pack but it's there um this is a the classic Sergio Leone film uh the iconic score by um Ennio Morricone starring Clint Eastwood and Flea Van Cleef um and uh it was released in 1965 it is a spaghetti western and it is a part of the dollars trilogy which includes for a few dollars more fistful of dollars and the good the bad and the ugly which I've bet you've heard of at least one of those um so yeah, if you can't tell, I like this movie quite a bit because, um, I mean, I got the gun here, got a hat, the poncho, and everything, you know? So, I like me a western, so it's pretty good. But I did like this movie a lot. Uh, I think from the, my, from the little I can remember from A Fistful of Dollars, it's been a little while since I watched it, I think I enjoyed this film a bit more. Uh, I just feel like, um... It was a little more action-packed, you know? I'm a more action kind of guy. And also, the story beats were good, too. I'm not saying this didn't have a good story. I think it had a pretty good story. Yeah, I uh, I just found the, the score, obviously, as I said. Ennio Morricone, absolute, like, legend, amazing composer. The greatest Western music of all time. That's He's made the greatest Western music of all time, hands down. Um, and the score in this movie is great. Uh, that's probably uh, one of the best parts of the movie. But also, as I said, Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, uh, they're both great in this movie. I think also the villain, I can't remember his, uh, his name off the top of my head, but uh, he did great too. I think he was also in A Fistful of Dollars, and I think he's also in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly as well, I think. Uh, I still have to watch it. I know I'm not a real film fan. But, um, yeah... I found this film enjoyable all the way through. I really liked the the story. I liked the action. I liked the Western feel of it. I think some Westerns uh, can be too generic at times. Uh, there's there's so many generic Westerns out there. Um, and obviously I can't name them. But, uh, yeah, thanks John Wayne. But, um, yeah, I think Clint Eastwood at least back in the day, he had classic Western after classic Western. You know, I feel like Clint Eastwood is the Western actor for a reason, too. He's just great in Westerns, even though he had, I think he said he didn't even like doing them because, you know, spaghetti Westerns I've heard were hard to work on behind the scenes because, like, language barriers and everything. Because if you didn't know in spaghetti Westerns, they wouldn't write the script in one unanimous language. Everybody would speak their own language, so it would be hard for an American actor to bounce off of an Italian actor because the Italian actor is speaking Italian, so you wouldn't know what they're saying unless you read the script, right? Oh, well, not even. You had no idea what they're saying, so you can't really bounce off the dialogue. You're just reading your lines, right? And I've heard that was a really difficult thing to do, and it sounds difficult. You can't really work off the actor. You just kind of have to do it yourself. Uh, but yeah, this movie was great. Uh, I liked all the sets. It was, it just felt like what I want a Western to be. Dramatic, action-packed, and just a bunch of great, like, great dialogue, you know? Great dialogue, great action, great story, and just great, I don't know, just great everything. A lot of this movie was just great. Well, most of it. Um, but honestly, I, I know this movie isn't perfect. Obviously, no movie's perfect. But I'm having troubles thinking about, ah, uh, there's one problem I had with the movie. If there was one problem I could list that I had with this movie is that there are some scenes that really drew, like, are really drawn out. And I think uh, Sergio has said that he likes, like, drawing out scenes and he likes long takes and he likes long things. 
Um, and that's his preference, but some of these scenes are just way too long. <laughs> I mean, some of them have a reason for being a little longer, but I feel like some of them could be cut down. What's making your leg? Because some of them could be cut down a little bit. But uh, for most, through most of it, I didn't really have much of an issue with the movie. Um, and I just, as I said, enjoyed it all the way through. So, yeah. Um, I think this is a great place to start if you're just starting to get into westerns. If you want to get into westerns, highly recommend this film. It's a great starter, um, and it's even though it's a part of the Dollars Trilogy, they're only really called the Dollars Trilogy because it shares the same Clint Eastwood character. You know, it doesn't really share story at all because... Lee Van Cleef is in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and he plays, like, a villain, right? He plays a really... He's the bad in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly name, right? And he's not... He's... I mean, he's, like, a gun... He's, like, a gunslinger. He's a bounty hunter in this, but he's not awful. He's just, like, morally gray. And The, the Good, The Bad, The Ugly... I've heard he's not that great. Because <laughs> he is the bad. And, you know, they're not connected, so you don't need to watch them in any... You can watch them in any order. I would start with this one. It's a great place to get started, and I would highly recommend it for any um, anybody looking to get into the Western genre. I think I'd rate this film an 8.5. Really enjoyed it, really liked it, and I uh, would highly recommend it for anybody looking to get into Westerns. And, uh, you know, I think I've said my piece. I think I've said what I need to say. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like it, share with your friends, subscribe, there's notifications on. Comment down below on how much you liked it. And so guys, I've been running time HD and it's about time I saddle up and ride off into the sunset. See you guys in the next video.